Praise the Lord. Don't spill our secrets. Don't spill our secrets. I would like to welcome you to our last service today. And it's all about recreating your life. You can only recreate something that requires adjustment. It requires some repairs. All right? So this is part one. And this thing is big. I know we'll have several parts. All right? Probably on Sunday, we'll continue from six in the morning. All right? It will be a series of recreating your life and uh, changing hopeless situations. That is Sunday teachings. All right? So this is an introduction. And then, you know, we leave you salivating and craving for more. All right? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Recreating your life. I would like to start by saying this. How many think, and be genuine, how many think they don't have faith? Be genuine. Or there are times you think you don't have faith. You know what? Don't, don't do this. This is not an answer. This is pride. Lift up your hand well. Sometimes you think you don't have faith. All right. Hands down. Or hands up again. Just look around and see. Yeah. Okay. Hands down. Number one, that is very important because some people, they quote the Gospels. When Jesus was telling his disciples, how comes you don't have faith? In the Old Testament, it was possible for people not to have faith. In the New Testament, it is impossible for a Christian not to have faith. You have faith. All of you have faith. Unless you're not a Christian, then just come forward. I lead you to Christ. I'm telling you the truth. Who here is not a Christian? Then you have faith. You know, Romans 12, 3 says, God has dealt to every child of his the measure of faith. His own, his own kind of faith. Alright? When you received Christ, that everyone receives the same measure of faith. Now it's upon you to increase your faith, to grow your faith, to use your faith, to strengthen your faith. Okay? So you have faith. The God kind of faith is in your heart. You have it. What is this God kind of faith? The best explanation, you see it in Romans chapter 4 from verse 17. You know, moving up forward. God who calls those things that don't exist as though they they did. He calls those things that don't exist as though they did. Why? These things are so real in his heart and we are told we have that same kind of faith. So if children of Satan act like Satan, children of God should act like God. Yeah. It should be automatic. Yeah. Say, I am a person of faith. And my faith is alive. And my faith is working. I have the God kind of faith. Yes, you do. says, okay. When you keep on reading Romans chapter 4 from verse 17 to verse 20, 21, let me ask you a question again, wholesale. How many of you believe that God, you are persuaded, fully convinced that God is able to deliver 
his promises. You are really convinced that God is able to deliver his promises. That is everyone's hand, right? Okay. That's part A. Part B, how many of you glorify God, you thank God for the things you are fully persuaded is able to deliver? Those who have lifted up their hands, that is a demonstration of strong faith. It's in the Bible. Abraham staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but he was strong in faith, giving glory to God. For he was fully persuaded, he was fully convinced that God who had promised was able to perform. You know why sometimes you think you don't have faith? Because you go by feelings. And faith is of the heart, not of the feelings. Faith is not a feeling. If we are to go by feelings, I don't feel like being here. I feel like having good nyamachoma. No, it's true. I don't feel like being here. But I know I don't walk by feelings. I walk by faith. So faith is the invisible strength that I don't feel. Faith is the invisible strength that this body is telling me I don't have. But I remind the body that I am not you. You are not me. You are my car. The fuel I need comes from me. I am a spirit. So I just say I am strengthened and you have to bow. I don't allow the body to tell me how I feel. I tell the body how it should feel. That is what faith is. Right? So, you are fully persuaded that what God has promised you is able to perform and you thank him for that thing and you glorify him and you give offerings for it. Then you are demonstrating strong faith. You are demonstrating it. But you know, when you are looking for something, that you already have you will never have it or you will never use it when you're looking for something that you already have it is in your possession but you're looking for it because you don't know that you have it it can't benefit you have you ever looked for your khakis and it's in your hand until you, you change like ah where is it? Ah, Emmanuel, have you eaten the key? You know, you're looking everywhere for the key. Table, and it's in your hand. So all the while you're in the house, you have the key in your hand. Could be in your pocket. And you're even tapping. But you're not, you, you're not that because you are convinced you don't have it. So even the touch does not convince you that it's there. You have the house. You have the car. You have the promotions. You have the transfer. You have the marriages. You have the money. You have the joy. You have faith. You have love. Yeah. But you've been tapping with a consciousness, consciousness of not having. So the consciousness of not having caused your hands not to feel the key. Caused, caused your spirit not to feel the car. Caused your spirit not to feel the promotion. Because you're looking for something you have but you're convinced you don't have. So it becomes hard to help you. So we also join you in looking for the key that is in your pocket. So you make us all look like fools. You know? We are looking with you. 
We are searching for it. We are, and you have it. That is you. You are looking for faith and you have it. You are looking for faith and you have it. 2 Corinthians 4.13 says, having the same spirit of faith. He didn't say we will have the same spirit of faith. He says, having the same spirit of faith. We have it. Say, I have it. I have the spirit of faith. Having the same spirit of faith according to what is written. I believed and therefore spoke. We also believe and therefore because we have the spirit of faith. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of faith. Are you getting it? So you have the God kind of faith. And the God kind of faith calls those things which don't exist in this physical world as though they did. Faith is of the heart. Not of sight. We don't walk by sight. We walk by the evidence the word of God gives us that becomes real to our hearts, not to our eyes. A miracle is not a miracle when you see it with your physical eyes. A miracle is a miracle. A true testimony is when you receive with your heart. Because God judges the heart. So when you receive those cars with your heart, God is saying, yes, my daughter got it. Yes, my son got it. Yes, my daughter got it. Yes, when you're receiving that house in your heart, God in heaven sees it as your possession. The business, the money, God sees it. It's yours now. Because you're a spirit. And everything that you'll receive from the spiritual realm, you receive by your spirit. Even this word you receive by your spirit. And the spirit is the real you. That is the person that God wants to get a hold of his word. That is the person. That is the person that God is concerned about. So when you come here, you hear with your with your heart. Understand with your heart. Alright? Understand with your heart. And once you do, like I told you, let the pictures become real. Believing is being. Believing is being. Believing is being. Believing is being. The more you believe, the more you become. The more you believe, the more your story changes. Yes. Remember, this is just an introduction. Before you even go to the thing, when you go to the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 8, you're told, For by grace you've been saved through faith. So it took faith for you to receive Christ. So if you don't have faith now, it means you need to receive Christ. By grace, through faith. Grace could not work without faith. The grace to save humanity is here. But they have to, when you want to receive Christ, you have to open your mouth. You have to believe first in your heart and confess him with your mouth. You have to do something. That's an action. Yeah. Faith is demonstrated through words and actions. Yeah. Right? Yes, All right. Through grace, by grace. For by grace through, Faith. you are saved. For by grace through, Faith. you are saved. For by grace through, Faith. by grace through faith, you get your new home. The grace for you to make it is here. The grace for you to be healed is available. The grace for you to make money is available. The grace for you to get a new job is available. 
the grace for you to be promoted is available. Yes. The grace for the dead to be cancelled is available. Yes. It's available. But you are told it works through faith. The same way the grace to save humanity is available. But someone has to demonstrate faith for the grace to work in their lives. For them to receive Christ and salvation. So even you, the grace for your next level is available. Not tomorrow, now. By grace through faith. Through the invisible evidences. Invisible proofs. By grace through faith. By grace through the invisible evidence you have from God's word. You are saved. You are delivered. Whatever you wanted comes to you. Now, now that we're on the same page and you realize that you have the faith of God that calls things that are not seen in this physical world as though they did. Won't you just, because right now your hearts are ready, won't you just now speak in tongues for a minute before we continue? Speak in tongues for a minute and you're speaking in tongues, speak the things you want to see. Speak them. Don't say, don't say, I will have. Wait, 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 wait. Don't say, I will have, I will have, I will have. I will have is not having. God does not call the things that don't exist as though they will exist. No. He calls them as though they did exist. So whatever it is, you speak forth. Faith is now. If you really believe you have the God kind of faith now, speak now. Speak in tongues and say exactly. In the name of Jesus, I have this. In the name of Jesus, I have this. In the name of Jesus, I have this. One minute, let's go. Karpali bakas katabar vali moshka. Ravina mina satrabina vushka. Are you saying what you wanted? Now with the language you understand, are you saying what you want? Yes. Now are you saying what you have? Yes. Ten more seconds? Yes. Alright, let's go. Practicals, let's go. I can't hear your voice. Can you say it? As if you have it? Because you have it? Man, crepe, rack, lati, Thank you, Lord. I'm full of wisdom. I'm full of knowledge. I'm full of the Holy Ghost. I'm smart. I have the mind of Christ. I'm shining. I'm shining. I'm shining. I am blessed to be a blessing. I am blessed to be a blessing. I'm shining. I am blessed to be a blessing. And I'm shining. I'm shining. I'm shining. I am shining. I have the mind of Christ. I am filled with the knowledge of God's will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Spiritual understanding. I have insight into realities. In the name of Jesus, I don't walk in darkness. I will never walk in darkness. In the name of Jesus, as he is, so am I. So am I in this world. In Jesus' name. Amen. Are you persuaded? Yes. Then it's yours. Yes. All right. Now, let's go to the book of Hebrews, chapter 11. Hebrews 11. This is part one, right? So we're almost done. Mm. 
now faith it shows you faith is not hope if it's not now it's not faith if it is not now it is not faith now faith is the substance of the things hoped for what is substance something with matter occupies space has weight Yeah, define for me substance. Anything that occupies space is matter. What is matter? Anything that occupies and has mass and weight. Now faith is the substance, is the matter of things hoped for. If it is faith, that thing will be real in your heart. The color the weight, yes. the amounts, yes. Yes. they'll be real. They won't be real tomorrow, now in your heart. Yes. The evidence of things not seen. The evidence of unseen realities. The evidence of invisible things to this world but visible in the other world and because we are spirits they are visible to us all these things are visible to your hearts all these things are visible to your hearts that promotion is real to your heart you know those souls you're going to win they are real to your heart that wedding is real to your heart. Yes. The marriage is real to your heart. Yes. Promotion is real to your heart. Yes. Those figures are real to your heart. Yes. 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 Sister Margaret, congratulations. Congratulations. The evidence of things not seen and this evidence is in your heart powered by or stemming from the word of God. Every time you hear the word of God, let your hearts be open and ready. Promotion does not come from the east or the west or the south, but from God. Promotion comes from God. Promotion comes from God. So when you receive that, if you've received it with your heart, you know you are promoted. It's not something that you're now waiting for, for it. It has happened in your heart. If the thing is not real in your heart, it won't be real in your hands. It will never show up in your hands. It has to be in your heart first. Then it will show up in your hands. It will show up in your parking. It will show up as land. It will show up as a house. Do you understand it? For by faith, the elders obtained a good report, a good testimony. By faith. By faith. By faith. The elders ob obtained a good testimony. By faith, the elders obtained a good testimony. It was by faith. By them believing invisible truths they are invisible to the physical world but they are visible to your spirit they are visible to your spirit because you look like them verse 3 by faith we understand By faith, we understand. You know, you're saying, yes, sir. I really don't go. I don't, I don't know if you're... By faith, we understand. Okay, let me make everyone understand. Let me show you something in the book of Thessalonians. It will ring a very big bell. Very big bell. 
For not all men have faith. Right? We have wicked men. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. Verse 1 to 2. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified just as it is with you. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men for not all have faith. Oh my God. Why don't they have faith? Because they don't understand. Faith is what causes you to understand. By faith we understand. So you find someone is very argumentative. That area of God's word, they are, they are dark to it. They are ignorant to it. So they can't understand. Faith begins where the will of God is known. Where the will of God is revealed. You can't have faith without scripture backing up. Then what are you believing for? Scriptures to back it up for it to be called faith. By faith we understand that the worlds, the aeons were framed by the word of God. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. By faith we understand by faith we understand that the, the word for worlds there is not cosmos like the physical earth. It's aeon. A-I-O-N-S in the Greek. It means by faith we understand that the eras, the generations, like you can say, the lives and times of President Moi. The era of Obama. They were changed by faith. The era of Biden. Changed by faith. Using invisible evidence. To bring in. Visible proofs. By faith we understand. That the aeons. The lives and times, the generations, your own world, your profession, your era, framed by the word of God, by the Rema, not the Logos. Recreating your life. It says you recreate your life. And you frame your world. The world of your marriage. The world of your business. The world of your dealings. By the rhema of God. You frame it. The Greek word for frame is katatizo. Kartatizo. K-A-R-T-I-Z-O. By faith we understand that the generations that our lives that your business your own life your academic life your profession whatever it is you're engaging yourself to do by faith we understand that it can be catatizzled the word catatizzled does not mean frame but repair restore By faith we understand you can change your life. By faith we understand you can repro it's a reprogramming. You can reprogram your mind. And faith comes by so without the word of God you can't reprogram yourself. You can't have a reboot. If you're going wrong you have to go wrong to the end. That is why coming where the word of God is taught correctly. People say, you know, even in our church they teach. I don't care. The word of God is not supposed to be taught. It is supposed to be taught accurately. 
It says correctly dividing the word of truth. So being taught is like having junk. If it is not accurate, it's spiritual junk. Until it is accurate, it is not a balanced diet. It is not a balanced diet until it is accurate. And remember this, whatever it is you're being fed spiritually is what builds up your spirit. So if it is not accurate knowledge of God, then your spiritual man could be big, obese, but without strength, without fitness. Being big does not mean you're fit. All right? Mm -hmm. But when you have a balanced diet and you're exercising, then you'll be very strong and very fit. You are different from the person feeding on junk. And even if both of you are feeding, you're feeding on good food and the other one is feeding on junk, the one feeding on good food will be stronger. True or false? Uh -huh. Don't tell me where we are, we also talk the word. Is it the accurate revelation of the present age? Is it the present truth, as Apostle Peter puts it? Is it the present truth, or you're mixing, or you're putting new wine into old wine skin? Are you putting, uh, uh, you're putting old wine into new wine skin? He says, the wine skin will be spoiled, will burst. You are destroying your own life. The wine skin there represents your spirit, your soul, your body, your entire being. You are putting old wine into new wine skin. Or you are putting new wine into old wine skin. He says there will be a loss. Both of the wine and the skin. He says that word will have no value. That's number one. And number two, your own life will be destroyed. Because you're not following the accurate knowledge of Christ. Uh, by faith we understand that the aeons, our life, your life, can be restored, adjusted, reprogrammed by the rema word of God. Recreating your life. By the rema word of God. And you can always get rema where there is logos. You can get rema when you're speaking in tongues. The word for now that you need for now. <laughs> so that the things which are physical were not made by things which are physical. So the cars that you want, they are physical. But God says, you can't get them through physical means. The change you want in your business, it is changed by unseen forces the word of God. Do you remember on Sunday the rattlings? Yeah. The rattlings. The word of God full of faith is what will help you reprogram your entire life. Accurate teaching on faith and practicing it. You can't say you believe in me and you're not making money. You're a liar and you're laying against the truth. Because I've been teaching every young person, man or woman, you must have something you're doing to bring money to you. So if you're not, there is no faith you're working. Faith without actions is dead. Meaning, no change. You can't be doing nothing and you expect to see change. Your faith is strengthened 
when you exercise it. You exercise it by doing what you are told. And you do what you are told from your heart convinced it is God's word. And it bears the fruits that it says it bears. You can't have two opinions. The things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. You see all these buildings? A lot of these buildings you see in the world, they're a replica. Those who are here on Friday night, don't spill our secrets. Those who are here, you understand, whatever you see on earth has already happened in the heavenlies. So if you don't have a skyscraper in your heart, you can't have a skyscraper on the earth. If you don't have a Rolls Royce in your heart, it's just in your head. You can't have it on the earth. It has to be in your heart. If you truly have a Rolls Royce in your heart, how you talk will change. How you walk will change. How you carry yourself will change. If you don't have 10 bedrooms in your heart, you can't manage 10 bedrooms on the earth. Are you together? It has to be rich in your heart. Then it will appear. Come with me on the earth. That is how you start recreating your life. You start adjusting. You start repairing. God did the same thing. And there's a process to it. But that will be for part two. Then you're told, by faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Hold on. Faith comes by? Faith comes by? So Abel and Cain both had what to give God. But Cain decided to give God what he wanted or what he had. You don't give God what you have. You give God what he wants. So Abel God gave God what God wanted. And we are told it was a giving of faith. Because he was responding to God's instruction. That's why you see me being very tough on people don't follow instructions. If you see someone not following instructions, there is a crookedness of the spirit. If you don't rectify it, sooner or later, their salvation will not stand. All right? That is why God says, those who, the, the limb, um, the weak knees and limbs, he said, strengthen and make straight by discipline. That's what God says. It's in, it's in uh, chapter 12. It's not for today. Therefore, strengthen the hands which hang down and the feeble knees and make straight paths for your feet so that what is lame may not be dislocated but rather healed. If you read from verse 6, he's talking about discipline. He says, if you don't discipline, the person will be dislocated out of Christ. The house of Christ is a place, is a school. The church of God is a school and is also a hospital. Whether you graduate this school is up to you. In hospital, people are receiving medicine. Maybe someone's issue is the head. Your issue is the leg. Meaning maybe someone's issue is a car. Yours is a house. Another one is a, is a child. Another one is marriage. So you know what you require and take it. If you refuse to take medication, what happens? The situation escalates. Gets worse. The Bible calls the word of God, God's medicine. 
It's Mape. My son, incline your ears. Pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Why? Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, not your head. For they are life to all who find them. And health, medicine, mape to all their flesh. So if your life keeps on going south and in this ministry, don't blame the devil. You're not putting the word to work. We are not a ministry of exalting Satan. If you cast him, he goes. We are praying for you day and night. So you play your role. Says the word of God is mape, is medicine to all your flesh. Everything is perfected concerning you by the word of God. You can find that in Proverbs 4 from verse 20, moving on up to 22. Then you're told, guard your heart with all diligence. For out of your heart springs forth the issues of life. Be careful what comes into your heart. Because out of your heart springs forth what you want. So there are some things you can bring in your heart and they oppress the blessing you wanted to see manifested. There are some movies you are watching that are oppressing the word of God in your heart. They are choking. Go read the parable of the soul by your own time. Mark chapter 4 and Matthew 13 and Luke 8. You're bringing a lot of dirt into your heart. You're not guarding your heart. You're not guarding your mind. So you're corrupting the word of God and therefore it cannot bear fruit for you. Uh, because of time. Because of time. I just let me finish chapter four. I mean verse four. Then by faith Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. So when you act on God's word, God says righteous. It's a righteous act. If you do without hearing God, he says it's sin. Remember, Romans 14, 23, everything that is not of faith is sin. So there's a process to this. This is part one. This might have many parts. We'll continue on Sunday. Just lift up your hands and thank God for what you've received. Lift up your hands. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Loudly. Loudly. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for the strength. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you, Master. Kala marabaka sata malivon shatabinaza. Vir bali badon shavi lagaburgel. Rampa kat labi shavinoza. Vrigo no sholo prakadamas. Lem pradino parakis.